Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 15 April 2021, tax day. For those of you who still have money left, <laughs> we're going to have a knife sale tonight. Because <clears throat> it's 9 o'clock on a Thursday, and it's the Apostle P channel. We've got a big one, and a fun one, and a very diverse bunch of cutlery for you guys tonight, and one watch at the very end. Before we get into the meat of the sale, a little bit of housekeeping as usual. I'm going to post up on the screen for you in just a moment the terms of the sale. If you are a new buyer to this weekly event, please view those, digest those, and be agreeable to and familiar with them before you attempt to purchase a knife tonight. I'm also going to reprint those terms in the description underneath this video. Above the terms of the sale in the description, you're going to see three links to previous videos on this channel. The first one is to my Primer for Buyers video. That's a 38-minute expanded explanation of how the sale works. So please watch that if you're new. <clears throat> the second link is to my FAQs for Consigners video. If you're interested in using this weekly sales event to move along some of your collection, that video gives you the whys and wherefores and nuts and bolts of how that all works. And then the third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So you're going to see three links in the description, then the terms of the sale, and then at the bottom will be the complete list of tonight's inventory with timestamps and pricing. In the pricing column, you're going to see two prices. The one to the left of the slash is your as shown price. The number to the right is the price with a fresh edge by the Apostle P Knife Service. And there will be next day sharpening available this week for the first six knives purchased to be sharpened. Those will be done and shipped tomorrow, the 16th, with all the as shown inventory. If you fall outside that first six uh, positions, you're going to be looking at three to four weeks before your sharpened knife will be shipped. I think that's it for housekeeping. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you, and I'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? Let's see, I told you in my teaser video yesterday that there were going to be some traditional slip joint pocket knives from Great Eastern Cutlery. We're going to kick off the sale with those. We got no leftovers from last week. Thank you guys for your patronage. And we sold them all last week. So first up, from the Tidiute Cutlery line, handcrafted by Great Eastern, we have a number 062219. That's an 06 Pemberton in the dark blue jig bone, which I think is the best looking cover material on this little knife. <clears throat> what a gorgeous little jack knife. Got a little Coke bottle going on. Nickel silver bolsters and end caps. The gorgeous titty shield. Blade configuration on this one's going to be a spear main. Satin no etch, nail nick, and a drawn swedge. And then the secondary, nice little coping blade. Blades are centered up. Pull weight, I think this is a seven, which seems like a lot for such a small knife. Look at that snappy walk and talk. Doesn't get any better than that if you're looking for an 06 Pemberton. <clears throat> like new in the tube is your condition. I found these on eBay completed listings between 130 and 170 ish. 
some of them with shipping in addition to that. Can't imagine there was a nicer one sold than this. Your price on this one's going to be 150 and then 175 if you'd like me to sharpen both blades. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's the GEC Tidiute number 06 Pemberton. Next up, oh, what a sweet little blade. It is a Northfield Unexcelled Premium Pocket Knife from Great Eastern. It's the number 190120 Little Rattler in Sambar Stag. Look at that little gorgeous thing, would ya? Oh my. Beautiful little serpentine jack. I love I love the sort of underlying code in GEC's numbering, right? So 19 is half of 38, isn't it? Imagine that knife twice as big <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, it looks the handle shape looks a lot like a 38 Grinling Whittler pattern, doesn't it? But this is just a single bladed jack and look at that gorgeous, gorgeous Warncliffe blade. Beautiful polish. Gorgeous cut swedge. Let's we'll see the match on that stag. There you go. Uh -huh. Beautiful example. Centering on this one is right down the middle. Pull weight. I'm going to say five and a half. Perfect walk and talk. Condition absolutely like new in the tube. <clears throat> Your price on this one. Let's see. How about 160? 160. And then 175 for me to sharpen that little warning. That's the GEC Northfield number 19, a little rattler in stack. Next up, <clears throat> a pattern that's definitely grown on me, and it looks like it's growing on the community because I see the prices of these creeping up. It's a handcrafted knife by Tidiu Cutlery of Great Eastern Cutlery. The number 291319, the 29 Stockyard Whittler. In my favorite acrylic ever, grits with butter and molasses. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got the hot dog shield, the smooth bolsters and end caps. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at the blade set. Main clip, drawn swedge and a nail neck. And that's pulling at a six. Then we've got a secondary sheep's foot. third implement in the blade set is a punch. Let's take a look at the centering. Everything is beautiful. <clears throat> Perfect walk and talk. We'll call this one near mint to like new in the tube. Just a, I think I found a little bit of just storage wear and I don't know, on one of the end caps or something. Essentially a brand new knife. And a beautiful example, I gotta say. Your price on this one is 160, 160. 185 for me to sharpen the main and the sheep's foot. No need to sharpen the punch. Next day sharpening is available if you want to go that way, and it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. So 160 as shown, 185 sharpened. That's the GEC Tidiute, number 29, Stockyard Whitler. Next up, just one of my favorite fun knives GEC has ever made. From the Farm and Field Tool line, we have a number 350217 calf pen in knife bright acrylic. You got it. That is your knife bright acrylic. 
and I'll throw in a little shot of how it looks in the dark. Uh -huh. You can just imagine being a seven-year-old boy <clears throat> in your bedroom after bedtime with a tent made from your blanket and a flashlight looking at your knife glow and your mom yelling, Turn that light off! It's bedtime! So we've got the 35 medium cigar pattern. And the blade set is a big, broad main worn cliff with the calf pen etch, the satin finish. Pull weight. Oh, and it's a liner lock. Pull weight is about eight on the main and then about seven on the one arm knife, that clipped spear point that you can catch on your pant leg and open, okay? And there's actually a third implement, which is that screwdriver that protrudes from the center liner. I think the blades are centered up nicely on this one. Condition is like new in the tube. <clears throat> Your price, 165, 165, and 190, if you like it with an Apostle Edge on both of those big old blades. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. It's a GEC Farm and Field number 35 calf pen. Next up, oh, this is such a cool knife. It is a Tidiute Bull Moose. Number 811217, and the covers are Moose Green Jigged Bone. The 81, such a cool handle pattern. Get your big titty shield, a superb color of green. I'm not generally a green cover fan, but this is a rich, deep green. It'll probably turn brownish as the years go by. Smooth bolsters. Now it is an opposite end. Well, it's sort of a stockman handle, but it's just got two large blades <clears throat> with a center liner. It's on cam tangs, but guys, of all the cam tang GEC knives I've ever held, this has the best walk and talk and the smoothest action. It is just butter. So essentially two mains, although it is numbered <clears throat> as a clip point main because as you're looking at it, on the mark side, the clip opens as the main. Let's look at the blade centering. Pretty doggone nice. We're going to call the pull six and perfect underline, perfect walk and talk. We'll call this one near mint to like new in the tube. These are selling pretty consistently for uh, at 150 or just under on eBay completed listings and this is a superb example your price is going to be 145 145 like it is 175 if you like it with an Apostle P edge on both those blades that is the GEC Titty number 81 Bull Moose next up not our last GEC knife in the sale but the last one for a while this is from the Tidiute Handcrafted Cutlery line. A number 922219 Eureka Jack in OD Green Canvas Micarta. This is a super nicely done knife. Satin finish on the Micarta and all the nickel silver hardware, including the oval shield. You've got that big, beautiful spear point main. On the Titty Ute 92s, that's going to be set and finished. Superb walk and talk. <clears throat> Seven pull. And then the secondary blade over here on the back is going to be that coping blade. Super sharp coping blade on the spine to the transition at the nose. And one thing I always like to point out about the 92. That coping blade, very short, and I love how they wrap the back spring 
to take up some of that blade well. Just a nice touch, I think. This is absolutely like new in the tube. Your price, 140. 140, like it is, 165 for me to sharpen both blades. And next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. That's the GEC Tidiute number 92 Eureka Jack. Next up, from Lion Steel, Maniago, Italy, by way of Sulphur, Oklahoma. Special factory order for Mike Latham at CollectorKnives.net. We have a model number CK0112, BLCF. What does that mean? <clears throat> it means we have a Lion Steel clip shuffler with carbon fiber covers and the blue anodized titanium bolsters. The blade, a gorgeous clip point in Bowler M390 Super Stainless Steel, cut swedge and a long pull on both sides. Let's see the closed length on the shuffler, three and three quarters. Pull is seven-ish, maybe seven and a half. Walk and talk. Beautiful. Condition. Like new in the box. Centering didn't show you that. It's perfect. <clears throat> like new in the box. These are out of stock at Collector Knives. When they were in stock, I think they were 136. This one can be yours for 130 shipped priority mail. 150 if you like it with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. That is the Lion Steel Clip Shuffler. Next up. Another one from Lion Steel in Maniago, Italy, by way of Sulphur, Oklahoma. A Collector Knives Special Factory order. It's the BM1. BM1, that's the Lion Steel Best Man which to me is a chassis that looks like it could be updated with more blades at some point. But this is going to be the single clip version with Santos wood covers and a beautiful clip point, kind of a swoopy bellied clip point. Very, very nice. Cut swedge, long poles on both sides. Really good walk and talk. Seven pole. Centering's down the middle. Uh, closed length is 3 and 13 sixteenths on the best man. Just a very tidy package. These are right now in stock at Collector Knives for 127 Or you just buy this one. Like new, in the box, and a beautiful example. For 105 bucks, shipped, priority mail. 120 with an Apostle P edge on it. Did I tell you the blade steel? M390. Mm -hmm. That is the Lion Steel Best Man. Next up, the last of our Lion Steel Collector Knives Fusion Slip Joints tonight. Uh -huh. And this is sort of the pick of the litter. The Mac Daddy. CK0111SDUL. What does that mean? What does that mean? Hmm. Well, that means we have a Lion Steel Roundhead, which is the Euro Barlow, with beautiful olive wood covers. Look at that little knot right there. Blue anodized titanium bolsters. And the blade, Dama Steel Super Dance. Dama Steel Super Dance. Look at that, would ya? Uh-huh. So let's see. Pull weight. Seven. Walk and talk. Beautiful. Centering. Perfect. Condition. Like new in the box. These are in stock new at Collector Knives right now for $233 with that Dama Steel Super Dense Blade. This one can be yours for $180. $180 like it is. 
200 with an Apostle Piage. That is the Lion Steel Roundhead. Mm. Next up, we're out of Lion Steels, but we do have a Benchmade Fusion Slip Joint. It's the first, the original, the 318 nothing proper. In satin finished OD canvas, micarta. The proper is three and seven eighths inches in closed length. It has a clip point blade with a long pull only on the mark side. An S30V. It's sort of a cam tang knife. The walk and talk is, it's what I call proper, which is to say, not great. <clears throat> Pull weight's about a seven, I guess. Um, it's, they are what they are. They seem to sell okay, though. Um, right now, the old original proper is out of stock everywhere that I could find, but when they were in stock, Benchmade Matt Pricing was 127. This one can be yours for 110, like new in the box. 130 with an Apostle P. Edge on it. That is the Benchmade 318 proper. How's the centering? Pretty good. Next up, just one of two Spider Co's in tonight's sale. Uh -huh. This is from Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. It is the OG Shaman Black G10 S30V Blade. It's hard to believe that I could say OG for the Shaman. It seems like the design is only about three or four years old. But man, what a knife this has been for Spider Co. Kind of beefy compression lock mechanism. Sort of 3D machine black G10. A stone washed bead blasted blade. Great looking blade. Great finish for a knife that's a workhorse. S30V is your blade length. Made in Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. Rock solid lockup. Free drop in action. I'm calling the centering close, but very close on this one. Right now it looks pretty darn close, but yeah. It is absolutely like new in the box. And a super solid example. Um, let's see. Can that be right? Yeah, this version of the Shaman seems to be kind of out of stock everywhere. Uh, when they're in stock, they're 210. This one can be yours. 175. 175 like it is 195 with a fresh Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. That's the Spider Co. Shaman. Next up, here's an interesting little knife, and I mean that sincerely. From Topps Knives, we have their MSF 4.0. And if you'll read the box carefully, you're going to see uh -huh, Masserin Italian product. So yeah, this is a knife produced for Topps by Masserin, which is one of those Maniago boys, right? Pretty cool little knife. Cover material, they're, they're calling tan micarta, so probably a, a tan canvas. Closed length, or the handle length is four and a quarter. Got a deep carry, tip up, reversible clip, stainless steel liner lock, ball bearing flipper, flips excellent. The blade kind of a drop point. It is a low saber with a tiny micro bevel. You could scandy this up pretty easily if you wanted to. Got a pretty nice factory edge on it. Blade steel on the MSF is Bowler N690, which is a super slicey, easy to sharpen steel. It takes a great edge. Blade length is three and a quarter. There's your lock engagement. It's rock solid. There's your blade centering. It's right down the middle. Flipping action. Really nice. Super easy. That's a solid little package, guys. <clears throat> uh, web pricing for these, 100 bucks at your favorite retailer thereabouts. Or just buy this one. A perfect example. Like new in the box. Shipped. Priority mail. All in. 70 bucks. 90 with an Apostle P. Edge. 
next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's the Topps MSF 4.0. Next up, here's an interesting knife from Spartan Blades, and you'll notice the subtext field grade. And if you read closely in Spartan's literature, their field grave knives, field grade knives, are manufactured by their global manufacturing partners. Not sure what that means, but we have a good idea, don't we? The knife in question is the Spartan Blades Astor. A-S-T-O-R. And if we look on the blade, designed by Mr. Les George. And when you put it in your hand, it's obvious he designed it. When you look at it, it's kind of obvious. But when you put it in your hand, mm, Ain't nothing like a Les George handle, my friends. So what you got here is a blade and a beautiful stonewashed finish of CTS XHP steel, 3 and 5 eighths inches in length. I sharpened one of these for my customer Scott yesterday. Uh, squared away blade geometry, let me tell you. So lock up is rock solid on this one. Lock bar is a little funny to get to, but there's a lot of lock bar tension on this one which makes it engage kind of late when you snap it open. But it's all steel. Blade centering, pretty doggone close. So you got carbon fiber over G10 laminate, much like a Spyderco might have. You got a deep carry pocket clip that's reversible left to right tip up with a filler tab. Phosphor bronze washers in there. There is kind of a bushing pivot, but it's more, I think, just for smoothness, because I don't think it's dimensional like on a Sebenza. It's an adjustable pivot. <clears throat> kind of a cool knife. This one is like new in the box. Um, web pricing on these is $145, and my seller is pricing this at $90. Bucks. Here's why. As this came in, there was no lock bar tension and there was lock rock. I increased the lock bar tension and it's uh, it's pretty far over to the right. I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere, but um, that is what it is. Okay. That is the Spartan Blades Aster. 90 bucks like it is. 110 sharpened. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, from Cold Steel, a knife I didn't expect to do as well as it does, the Airlite. You know, it's your Demco Triad Lock, but look at that slim little package. And it is light. I'm going to say, I, don't, I haven't looked. I'm going to guess. I'm going to say 3.3 ounces. The box says 3.2. So anyway, OS 10A is your blade steel. Kind of a swoopy drop point, high saber grind. Well, let's see, how's the lock up on the trail? Oh, it's rock solid. How's the action? Beautiful. Kind of a medium uh, lock effort on this one. Centering on the air light is perfect. Three and a half inches of blade. Four and three quarters inches of handle. Nice ergos, great jumping. I'm going to call this near mint in box, and I don't know if you'll even be able to pick this up with your eye, but there's a couple just hairlines in the clip. Okay, I don't think you're going to reverse that clip, and there's not another clip in the box, by the way. Um, web pricing for a new air light at your favorite retailer is going to be around 85 bucks. This one can be yours shipped priority mail. 50, 5 zero, and 70 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge and next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. That's the Cold Steel Air Light. Next up, a knife that kind of needs no introduction. It's also from Cold Steel. It is the Andro Demco designed AD15 with the Scorpion lock. Uh-huh. The Scorpion Lock, the milled green G10 scales, and the S35VN blade. Oh, yeah. 
Let's see, how's the lockup? Uh, it locks up like a cold steel. Action. It's pretty nice. I've never been a super skilled at closing a scorpion lock. You guys probably know that. Centering is beautiful. Condition on this AD15, I'm going to call it like new in the box, except for my fingerprints. I want to buy one of these brand new at your favorite retailer. It's going to run you 216 or just buy this one. 175 like it is. 195 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Cold Steel AD15. Next up, this is kind of an odd duck in my sale, but I don't have a knife to go with them. What I have here are a set of custom scales from Sharp Dressed Knives, SDK for short. Now these go on, <clears throat> these go on a ZT0640. They are black canvas micarta. And that's pretty much all we have to say about that. Um, they run you $80 if you buy them brand new direct from SDK or just buy this set. If you've got a 640, you'd like some warm goodness of my card on. Uh, 50 bucks. They appear to be like new. So 50 bucks for the SDK custom scales for the ZTO 640. Next up, what a sweet little bench made. Are you a hunter who likes to work with a small knife, preferably a fixed blade. Well, this is your knife. From the Benchmade Knife Company, Oregon City, Oregon. No box with this one. We have the number 15016 Hidden Canyon Hunter. This is a super squared away little knife. Little horizontal carry split grain leather sheath. Very nicely made. Inside it rides this little bugger. S30V blade, 2 and 5 eighths inches in length. From uh, maybe a little thicker than one eighth stock. You've got jimping at the base of the spine, and you've got indexing jimping for your finger up at the front. And you guys have heard me say this before, but if I'm working inside the cavity of a large hooved animal with some tasty back straps, I like to know where the tip of my blade is. Because if I'm pushing stuff out of the way with one hand, I don't I don't need to be able to see to keep from cutting myself. Right? Uh, the user, the owner, has actually sharpened this. Pretty nice polished edge. So nice, I'm not even going to give you an edge sharpen price. You've got that laminated stabilized wood handle. I can't remember what Benchmade calls it. What do they call it? I, don't, I forgot. Nice little thumb indexing notches. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I do know this. These are now out of stock, guys. Everywhere. Um, I think map pricing on them was 115 when they were available. And I know website had them on clearance for 95. Uh, we'll call this one near mint, no box with a nicer than factory edge. 65 bucks, 65 for the Benchmade 15016 Hidden Canyon. That's a deal. Hey, it's time to turn the page. Oh, golly. Let's see. All right. All right. Next up, I told you we were going to have some some of LT Wright's work tonight, and we're into it now. From LT Wright Handcrafted Knives, we have, I think, probably one of his most popular models. It's the Next Gen in CPM 3V with flat natural canvas micarta. Comes in a beautifully wet form sheath. Nicely oiled inside it. There's probably a knife. Let's see. There is. So we got a CPM 3V blade, full height. Uh, I, 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 you might call this like a microvex. It's essentially a flat grind, but there's a slight bit of curvature to it. And then a standard bevel grind at the edge. What is it? It's kind of like a mini Kephart, isn't it? Right? Three and a quarter inch blade, four and a quarter inch handle. Shaped like a stick, perfect for the human hand. One eighth inch blade stock. Sharp 90 degree spine. It's near meant to like new in the box with sheath. Uh, let's see. Web price on these brands spanking new is going to be 148 at your favorite retailer. Or just buy this one. Save yourself like 
30 percent a hundred bucks 100 like it is 120 with an apostle p edge that is the lt right next gen in 3v next up we got a nothing from lt right handcrafted knives this one is the gp medium that my friends that my friends is a, an extremely artistic and creative name it just it just stirs the passion and makes you want to run out and buy one the gp medium and gp stands for general purpose again very exciting nomenclature i'm kidding anyway it's an aebl with a high saber grind and natural canvas micarta matte finish comes in a fold over simple bushcraft style sheet here's the knife uh -huh, look at that big broad blade this appears to have 1 8 stock a sharp 90 degree spine AEBL is analogous to Sandvik 12C27 which means it's quite stainless it is quite easy to sharpen and it takes a ferocious edge just what you want in an outdoors knife blade flank is 3 and 3 16 the handle is four and a half and does it fit the hand oh yeah lots of real estate you can kind of grip it however you want uh, it is near mint now this one has been sharpened by its owner and it's pretty doggone good so I'm not gonna offer you an as sharper price on this one it's polished it's sharp it's consistent tip to hell so we'll call that one good so the LT right GP medium web price on them brand new is about 145 you can buy this one with a squared away edge far sharper than factory $100 100 bucks on the LT right GP medium next up and our last LT right knife tonight this is my favorite one uh -huh. Uh -huh. this is the LT right switchback in a2 scandy ground with rustic brown matte canvas micarta <clears throat> gorgeous sheath inside I don't know what the technical name of this blade shape is but I'm calling it the Scandi clip <laughs> a2 is your blade steel blade length is 3 and 9 16 that is kind of a richer brown than uh, than the natural canvas very pretty handle material love the front of the handle great for indexing great bushcraft knife LT does a pretty fine job on his scandies you know uh, it's sort of a factory scandy so you're gonna see some grind marks in the bevel but the edge nicely polished although it doesn't really have a micro bevel very nice uh, four and five eighths handle backing up that three and nine sixteenths blade we're gonna call this one like new in the box web pricing on these you buy a brand new one is gonna be 155 this one can be yours 110 shipped priority mail 130 with an apostle p edge on it ah i'd probably use that a while before i had me sharpen it just me that is the lt right switchback next up from sc knives this knife looks like it's got a little history so it comes in this it's an sc3 standard molded plastic sheath with that spring steel clip inside the sheath is what we're going to call a heavily modified SE3. So it's a 1095 SE3 that's had the coating sort of polished off. And it's been sharpened, it's been used. Probably it's got kind of a convex edge. Not a bad one, not perfect. Then you get to the scales. These are custom TKC scales I think those are G10 are these G10 oh they're either canvas micarta or G10 there's a very fine milled texture and then some nice red or orange liners on this one so let's see if you buy this knife brand new as it comes 
Um, they're 110 bucks web pricing at your favorite retailer. This one, with the TKC scale set, which I'm not sure what those run, but I bet you they're more than 10 bucks. Uh, you know, in its modified condition, let's say 60, 60 on the SE3 with the TKC scales. Oh, 80 if you want a Apostle P Edge on it. And next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. Next up, from Manly Knives, <clears throat> that weird little European company that I can never really get a grip on. We have their Drugar, D-R-U-G-A-R, fixed blade. So it comes in a nice uh, pancake Kydex sheath with a belt loop also in Kydex. Nice little thumb break. The blade on the Drugar is four and five eighths inches of D2. Very nice full flat grind, nice and thin behind the edge. It's backed up by a four and three quarter inch handle with removable black G10 scales. Little impact device at the back. It's been used a little bit. Pretty solid little offering, I think, though. Uh, we'll call it excellent to near mint, no box. Web pricing on these, if you buy one brand new, is going to be 82 bucks, I think, by my research. Or just buy this one for 50 50 like it is 70 with a fresh Apostle P edge. That's the Manly Drugar. Next up, we got another one from Essie in a leather Essie sheath that's kind of wet for him, it looks like. Inside that leather comes the SE6. And just like the SE3 I showed you a couple minutes ago, this has had the black coating removed from the 1095 steel. It's wearing a convex edge applied by the owner. And it's got some TKC black, I think, G10 scales with orange liners. And this is the SE6 HM, HM, which stands for Handle Modified. So that, that is modified by SE. It's produced this way. And it's designed to be a little slimmer in hand and more desirable for outdoor or bushcraft use than the standard broader SE6 handle. So pretty nice knife in hand, I got to say. Uh, six inches of blade, four and seven eighths inches of handle. And it's got a set of TKC handle scales which, you know, those cost a little money. Price on the knife, brand new, was $113, web pricing at your favorite retailer, plus the cost of the scale, so that probably takes it up to around buck fifty. This one can be yours for $75. $75 like it is. $95 for me to put, that's too cheap. Did I really put 20 bucks to sharpen a 6-inch blade? Yeah, I did it. So $95 if you want me to sharpen it. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. That is the SE6 HM with TKC scales. Next up, got another one from Topps Knives made in the USA. This is a funky little thing. It does have the little uh, rape whistle on the bottom. <laughs> this is a funky little knife. It's called the Topps California Cobra. So it comes with a Kydex sheath with a that that I don't, does that move? No, that's a fixed position uh, belt clip. But it looks like you can move it around a little bit. But it doesn't swivel. Kydex sheath. Let me check this out. What the heck is that? I don't know. There must be a method to this madness because. It's got a sharpened edge up here, and it's got a sharpened edge here, and it's chunky, and it's got, what is that? I think that might be G10. Is it? It sure looks like G10 with some reddish-orange liners. Uh -huh. So I measured the blade to, like, here, right? And that's three inches, and then from that position back is three and a quarter 1095 is your blade steel. 
Uh, it's near mint, probably like new in box. Web pricing on these, if you buy a brand new one, is 90 This can be yours for 70 Shipped. Priority mail. How about that? And then, uh, gosh, I guess uh, 105 for me to sharpen both the top and bottom edges. Okay. That is the tops. California Cobra. Next up, we're back into the cold steel for a minute. This one, is that the new box? This is the cold steel gun sight. The gun sight. We've got some OD green Grivex handles. I think that's sort of a counterpoint handle if I remember right. Looks like we got a reversible tip up pocket clip. We have a Demco triad lock. We have a spear point blade with sort of a bayonet grind false edge at the top, combo edge. Aus 10 blade steel. 3 and 13 16 inches of blade. 5 and a 16th is your handle. Super secure grip with that self guard in the front of the handle. Beautiful triad action. Beautiful triad lock up. The centering is going to be close. Looks like it might favor the right ever so slightly. Condition on the gun sight is like new in the box. They are between $84 and $88, depending on which website you look to buy one new. This one can be yours for $60, shipped, priority mail, $80 with an Apostle P. Edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the gun sight from Cold Steel. Next up, oh boy. For all you Cold Steel fans missing the old days when Lynn Thompson owned the company, I got your knife. It is the Cold Steel Lynn Thompson autographed Tie Light 6. And those of you who know this knife know what you're about to see. I don't want to hit my tripod. Oh my. Oh my. How would you like to get run through with that thing? Hmm. <laughs> There's the autograph by Mr. Thompson. Here's the cool thing. Len was old school. When he made this autograph knife, he did it in old school. Faux faux to see, baby. Uh -huh. Then he went the Grivex route with the handle. Got the old liner lock with the fold over release tab. Action's beautiful. Lockup's rock solid. Centering's a little off to the right as you're looking at it, but the condition, like new. With box. Uh, they sold out quickly at every web retailer for 122 This one, they're gone, and they're probably gone forever. 120 and we're not sharpening that. No, it needs to be on display. And uh, you don't want to pay me what it would cost to sharpen that thing. That's the, Lynn, the Cold Steel Lynn Thompson Tie Light 6. Next up, time to get into my personal collection knives, the Omega Funding Project. First up, from Spyderco, we got a Manix 2 FRN, or Manix 2 Lightweight and CPM Rex 45 steel. Comes with that burnt orange FRN, my favorite color. Got your reversible wire clip, you got your caged ball lock. I can't do that because the clip's on my side. Action. Not quite free dropping, but doggone nice. Centering. Perfect. Edge. Wow, Spyderco did a really nice... No, they didn't. That's my edge, and it's like a laser. Uh -huh. Like a laser. Squared away. Other than the better than factory sharpening, it's like new, so we'll call it near mint in box. Uh, they're gone from your web retailers on brand new knives. Completed listings on eBay for this particular knife without my edge on it seem to be running between 174 and 200. This is my gift to you, my friends. 150 with an Apostle P edge on the Spyderco Manix 2 lightweight, burnt orange, and Rex 45. Next up. This is from my personal collection. It is a Great Eastern Cutlery. 
Can you can you believe it? What's my favorite pattern? It's the number 78 American Jack. Why would I be selling it? Well, there's one thing. It is a number 782217 in smooth white bone. I love the 78. I love smooth white bone. But to me, just to me, totally personal preference, the 78 should have a clip point blade. This is the that 2017 run of the spear point. And yes, that's got my edge on it. Pull weight is a seven and a half. Walk and talk is perfect. The biggest, most usable, beautiful pen blade in the history of Great Eastern Cutlery. Also wearing my edge. Uh huh. Gorgeous smooth white bone. I mean, gorgeous smooth white bone. So I'd call it, and I'm going to call it near mint in the box. I carried it a little. Don't think I used it a whole lot. Let's see. Carried it in a slip. Yeah, the edge is pretty much unmolested. Can't really detect anywhere. Okay. So near mint in box with an Apostle P edge. Your price, I'm probably doing this too cheap. 225 225 like it is, and no need to sharpen. It's already got my edge. That's the GEC Titty Ute, number 78, American Jack. Next up, guys, from WR Case and Sons. Cutlery Company. That box isn't your normal case box because it does not have your normal case knife. This is the original 2012 run of the annual Case Custom Shop Tony Bowes Lanny's Clip with the Antique Jig Bone. Okay. This is my knife and I put this in the teaser video yesterday. Comes in that pouch. And here's the knife. And if you want, you can go back and watch my video on this knife. So, here's the deal. These bows annuals for case were beautiful knives, and they were very ambitious in their construction. All steel construction, mill relief liners, so there are essentially washers that are exposed from the milled liner. So those liners aren't flat at the pivot. They're just round little bosses that stick up to give you this buttery, silky action. This has about a seven pull. Okay. The jigging is stunning. The shield, I don't know what the old dog called this, but I always call it the fleur de testicles. <laughs> Rat tail bolsters, satin finished hardware. The closed length is three and seven eighths, the curved handle trapper design. And then that Lanny's Clip blade. Oh, my. There's just something about that blade. Blade steel is 154 cm. This does have an Apostle P edge on it. But other than that, it's about like me. Now, those of you who know the story of this knife, I bought it from the original owner. He had sent it back to Case for rework on some quality issues. When I got it, I thought it still had some. Um, the rat tails weren't quite even. They are now. There was a little side play. That's gone. Um, the blade centering is down the middle. It's kind of one of a very few perfect examples from this original run. Um, it's near mint, in box, with pouch. Your price, 500 bucks. 500, like it is, no need to sharpen. That's the Case Bows Lanny's Clip 2012 edition. Okay, last item in tonight's sale, my friends. This is kind of the hardest one right here. Uh, it's from Seiko. This is funding my new Speedmaster. The last watch we're selling to do that. It's the SPB 103. That's the international part number for the SBDC081, right? That makes it a Gen 3 Sumo. We got an outer box. We got an inner box. Uh, it comes with this card. If I can get the card out of here. From Hodinkee. So this was a, um, a watch sold by Hodinkee. 
in a package and I'll show you the package just a minute. Inside the box you're going to see the original factory bracelet and full disclosure yes it looks very good and it looks very good because what do I do for a living guys? I sharpen knives and refinish knives. Uh, so the desk diving has been kept to a minimum by my own hand rub satin on the clasp. So the bracelet is very near mint and you really can't tell that satin from factory. Um, all the links are in the box. Oops, dummy. Let's see. All right. That gets us to the watch. And the reason that the bracelet is not on the watch is because the Hodinkee package included this green natural rubber crafter blue strap, which is an absolute thing of beauty. I'm going to get rid of the G-Shock for a minute. Put this thing on wrist for you guys. Maybe. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. There we go. So, the Gen 3 Sumo features a Sapphire Crystal, 6R35 movement, beautiful aluminum bezel insert. And I know a lot of guys want ceramic, but this aluminum is a piece of work. The case size on this, 45 millimeters in diameter, 52 lug to lug. But when you look at how it fits the wrist, especially on the rubber, I have 7 and 8 inch wrists, guys. And I can wear this watch all day long. and never feels big. Beautiful dial. Sunburst green. Date only. Professional diver. 200 meters water resistance. Super comfortable strap. And just kind of walk around this. It's not perfect, but it's doggone close. Uh, I did have to do a little work on the satin on this 1 o'clock lug. And I sort of got over into the polished beveled area there. But, you, you know, you'll notice if you're looking for it. So it's a very, very near mint watch. It keeps time okay if you're wearing it, right? So it, it keeps excellent time if you're wearing it. It runs about dead zero. Uh, dead zero to minus two per day if you're wearing it. And if you go to sleep, this is a watch that if you ha it likes to be dial up. But if you have the rubber on it, set it crown down when you go to bed. If you set it crown up, it'll lose, you know, seven or eight seconds overnight. So pretty common with a Seiko movement. You do have that nice 70 hours of power reserve, though. Not a scratch on the crystal or the, or the bezel. So this was about 900 bucks with the Crafter Blue strap bought new from Hodinkee. Um, I think I paid somewhere in the low eights, high sevens for it. Um, Probably just as nice as the day I got it. Maybe nicer. Your price, shipped priority mail, $675. $675 on the Seiko SPB103 Sumo Gen 3. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another sale on a Thursday night on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.